Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict here. Uh, we're in uh, Mooresville, Indiana with uh, Brian of Firewire LEDs. Um, you've seen some of our other videos where we've done some reviews on his products and why we carry them, things like that. Today, Brian has been kind enough to come into the shop with us and he is actually going to show the best way to install a set of the 9007 headlights in an OBS truck. Um, really, it's a pretty super simple install. Minor tools, flashlights, so you can see uh, it comes uh, with the Allen wrench to adjust the, the collar. And my particular truck still has the snorkel on it. Most of those are eight millimeter bolt that hold them in. Mine has been replaced at some point in time in its life, so it's a 10 millimeter. So we've got a 10 millimeter wrench, and that's really pretty much all the tools you're gonna need for this install besides whatever beer of choice you drink while you're installing this. Yeah. Um, this is a quick, in your garage, in your driveway, uh, on the side of the road install if you want to. You had to. So, I mean, um, so I guess we'll we'll get started on it. Sure. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll take the 10 millimeter bolt out, I'll get the snorkel out of the way, I guess you'll get the product out and kind of tell about the product sure. while I do that. All right, so like you said in the box, it's all plug and play. So we've got the little Allen wrench in case we do need to re-clock them. By clocking them, I mean rotating the collar in the housing so you get proper aim and adjustment out of your lights. Yeah, we all hate the guy driving down the road with the high, their high beams and low beams shining right in your face. Well, and that's that's been a question that so I answer the phone quite a bit, uh, especially with that question. And that's a huge question I always get asked is, you know, are these gonna be just blinding everybody else coming along because you put them in this housing or that housing or the other, and they've watched a thousand YouTube videos on what not to do when it comes to LEDs, so. So there's always the people that are completely 100% against putting these in a standard house. Right. And, and for various reasons, but the biggest one is light disbursement. It's right. blinding everybody. It, all I simply say is adjust your lights properly and you won't have that problem. Uh, and, that's, and that's why we're here for you to give the, uh, Chris has already done a, a video on yep. how to clock it, you know, just with it sitting on the bench. This is more of a, a, a real time because this is in the truck. Sure. And you know, you're, some people are doing headlights at the same time they're doing the bolts, but those that already have headlights or just did headlights, now they've decided they want to upgrade. This is real world. And as you can tell, uh, I've been driving this truck for, 7,000 plus miles in the last three weeks. So it has got dust and dirt under the hood. And this is, this is as close to real world conditions Absolutely. as you're gonna get installing these, you know, without being on your own personal truck. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things that a lot of people ask is, um, are they high low? Because a lot of, I guess the cheaper versions only have a low or a high both. Right. Um, these actually have both in them. Um, there's three diodes on here, and as you can see, there's two that are actually closer to the tip and one that's back. So these two here are your low beam, and you'll want those aimed down, and then your high beam you'll want facing up. Perfect. So, so we'll adjust that one for in there. Perfect. Um, and then the other standard rule of thumb, I guess, um, is you want the beam, the concentration of the beam, three foot off the ground at 30 foot away from the truck. So that's good to know. I didn't know that. So, so. if you could park on, the, on your driveway, flat ground on your garage door, roughly 30 feet, it doesn't have to be exact, just yeah. get it close. And then just aim. Perfect. Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. So, all right. All right. I guess we'll get started. Uh, where's our step tool? Yeah. So, Brian and I are kind of vertically challenged, so we have a step tool. It helps. It's like, I, you don't have to have it, but it helps. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Yep. All right, now that you got the bulb unplugged, Drop the wire down there like that. <laughs> That's convenient. Yeah. So you pull this off. Pay attention to how this goes on. Um, it has the little locking tabs right here. They obviously go on and lock in place. And these tabs in here go behind this and lock the bulb in place and hold it. So what we're gonna do is take this island out so we can put the collar back on. Make sure you know where it's going. So it's on the high beam side right there. You can see the Two diodes that are closer to the edge are low beam, and your diode down here is your high beam. And then right below that is the set screw. Just 
just wiggle it off of there. There's an O-ring on there to help seal it, to keep the water out. Um, we have seen, um, had customers come in and their headlights are full of water. You'll, sometimes you'll get that on aftermarket housings or cheaper bulbs that don't have this. So we'll slide that in, slide this ring back on. You can see how well that O-ring sealed because I have it like yeah, it's push tight. that back on. It's tight. And then you'll just lock, line up your hole and put your screw back in. Okay, so when you're locking this back on, you have to push it really hard over the O-ring to get that locked in there like that. The worst case scenario, if you get that off and you don't remember how to put it on, just do one bulb at a time so you can look at the other one like we just did. <laughs> so go ahead and put your set screw back in. All right, now that you have that tight, snake the ball back in. I plug it in first, it's easier. Simple locks in place. Slide your ball back in. Mine, remember the high beam goes down, or the high beam goes up and the low beam goes down. There we go. Again, this is easier if you pull the batteries out. We're just special and like to do it the hard way. Okay, lock it back in place and that's it. Have that installed? Yep. We want to test this one. Yep. And you can kind of see the difference in the halogen bulb versus the LED bulb. It should be able to see it on the wall. And look how much more light there is. So here, here's the new LED. There's the old halogen bulb. Push that off the wall. You can definitely see the color difference. It makes the truck look a little bit cleaner, a little bit newer. Um, upgrades. Yep. Plus it helps you see it now. Yep. Along with that snazzy 30 inch bar. Yep. In the meantime, getting that bulb out, this side, this normal goes back in place. Obviously mine again is 10 millimeter, not eight millimeter. So on the bulk up, snug it down. Yeah, that like 30 seconds that it was on, now it's hot. Yes. Again, take your set screw out, wiggle that off, put your lock collar back on. I'll be honest with you, what I do instead of putting them in the glove box, is you provide this snazzy box that your, your LEDs come in. So they're already fitted and have foam in them to keep them from getting busted. Slide them back in the box here. And then I put the Allen wrench back in the box too. Fold it up. And personally what I do with them is I just slide the box under the seat. Sure. The, um, some trucks had- Makes them harder to lose too. So. Yeah. Well, so, some trucks had bench seats, which is not as ideal for that, but most of them have 4020s. And under the center of the 4020, this box just slides right in there. It doesn't bounce around. The foam has got your other bulbs protected just in case you ever need them. Let's so. turn them on and make sure the lows and the highs work. That should be low beam. Or, uh, low beam. Okay, go to highs. That should be high. Yep. Go to low. Go to high. That's low. Okay. Go to high. Yep. Love me. High me. Okay. Really high me. <laughs> so, really pretty simple install. Start to finish. This should take 10 minutes at best. Yeah, the headlights are really easy unless you decide to take the batteries out and just get in there if you've never done it before. It's probably a good idea that we can see what you're doing. Yeah. Because the last thing you want to do is break one of those collars. Yeah, and because when you break the collar, the bulb tilts in the headlight, yep. gives you a weird beam, all that kind of stuff. So. And older trucks, they tend to get a little brittle. Brittle, yeah. Great time to replace your headlights is doing this at the same time. Yep. So. Absolutely.
As always, guys, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there's a product you would like us to review, a truck you would like to see on display, or just anything you'd like to see a video on, uh, feel free to send us an email to info at cpaddict.com or leave a line in the comments. Thanks.